What are the other... It's, it's ironic that here we are talking about a protest um, last night, uh, Judge Doherty releasing the IPCA uh, report uh, into the policing of the parliamentary protest uh, in February and March of last year. But there was also another riot of a kind um, just relatively recently. It, it happened in Auckland, if you remember, um, when a activist, um, a feminist in actual fact, you would suggest, um, went to, or came to, use it from the United Kingdom, uh, under the pen name of Posey Parker, uh, sought to dress proud of people who have thought being women or who want to um, being a woman, um, you actually do need to have the physical apparatus to be one. Um, and as we know, uh, those two, uh, um, uh, was there was a counter-protest um, uh, in Albert Park in central Auckland. Now, during that counter-protest, which was very poor, now, and um, as we now know, the police uh, have brought charges against two of the folk who were involved in that, not the Posey Parker, but the person who threw the tomato juice at Posey Parker, who turns about some transitivist from Columbia, um, and uh, another man uh, yesterday who was arrayed in the Auckland District Court Gallery after footage was seen of that particular individual, um, allegedly, I think you've got to say, but I'm not going to say it, so we're not bound by the um, New Zealand Media Council, um, was seen assaulting an elderly woman who was there. I need to point out that both of the people that have been arrested were in the counter-protesters. They were groups, uh, apparently this peaceful protest um, turned out to be nothing but and was actually extraordinarily violent, threatening uh, and has resulted in police action. But one of the people who played a prominent role um, in bringing the matter to the court 